Welcome to Film360. I'm excited to have back our City of Salt team here. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about production tips from a production currently in the heat of battle. So stay oh, tuned. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a good show. <laughs> All right, last time we had you guys on, we got the we were treated to an exclusive trailer and a clip of the first scene, which was very exciting. Um, and so now I just want to ask, how's, how's life in the midst of production? <laughs> it's amazing, and it really I'm going to be sad when it's all over in two weeks. Yeah, we were just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. bittersweet, you know? It's, it's like... Even one of our uh, crew members posted a song that she oh. wrote specifically for the film crew, the cast oh. and crew. <laughs> that is the greatest and thing. And it was gorgeous. I'm actually going to get her in a, f in a recording studio and get oh, this song in the movie. Great. But she was just saying, like, I don't know what I'm going to do after this. And you guys are family. And I, I feel the same exact way. Um, every yeah. time a production ends, there's kind of that feeling of emptiness, you know, and then it's like, okay, well, now let's do some heavy work and <laughs> get this thing out here. Yeah. 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 Now, now the hard post. work. Yep. <laughs> Which yeah. is the least glorious and longest phase of the whole thing. So, yeah. um, but okay, so I wanted, to, I wanted to pick your brains about production. Uh, and so uh, I got your list earlier. And I really like that you mentioned like a family because the first thing that you mentioned was to grow your family and inspire your people. Mm -hmm. uh, so set can be, it gets long, late, especially mm. people working nine to fives who are donating their time after hours. So what do you do to keep people inspired? Well, we usually wrap early. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, there's only one day where we went over time and that wow. was because it was raining. It was dark. It was mm. like borderline hypothermia situation. <laughs> yeah. We went so, until one thirty in the morning. Yeah. Wow. But we got it. But that was the only time that's ever happened. Usually we wrap at least an hour or two early. Nice. Oh, that'll keep morale yeah. up high. <laughs> yeah. For sure. That's good. Yeah. When they're thinking it's going to be a 12 hour day and they're walking out after eight, they're like, yeah. yay. Yeah. And <laughs> so. again, that enthusiasm, just keeping a positive attitude on set yeah i love that and it's not that hard when you've got such great people anyway really and they're really. already are yeah. they're already great people so it's not really that difficult to say you're doing a great job and they just beam they're they're already there you know? yeah so it's great. Oh, makes the biggest difference to bring on <laughs> yeah. bring on good people okay and so the next one feeds right into that which is to use your family and networking for your locations mm-hmm uh can you give me an example how some locations you got through your network or Maybe all of mm -hmm. them, but... <laughs> yeah, so um, the mansion that we film at for at least two of the locations yeah. mm -hmm. um, was actually just one of the cast members who had oh. a family member who wanted to be a part of it. So, nice. I mean, stuff like that, or even not <laughs> just locations, but even props, like mm -hmm. the, you know, D-Money having the family member who was a funeral director oh, really yeah. helped for oh. certain props and oh just, totally yeah just I, you I, never I knew know. i knew people that were ghost hunters and so we needed a casket so i just picked up a phone and it was like hey you wouldn't happen to know and they're like oh yeah sure boom we mm -hmm. had a, we had a casket. castle of chaos <laughs> helped us nice. out. big shout out to castle of chaos <laughs> big yeah. shout out <laughs> yeah. that's right. nice that's great that's great <clears throat> and uh was there any point where you felt really stuck on a proper location and then all of a sudden, bam, your network presented you something you didn't even think about. That's a oh daily boy. basis. That's a daily basis. <laughs> so the good. way that it works with Zepstone is that there's a certain magic to the way that things happen for us. And it's very synchronistic. Like, usually things happen a day or two before they are meant to, if hmm. they're not already in place. Nice. Or Yeah, it seems like a week. We always have about a week notice before everything, and then it just lands in our lap. It lands in our lap, even wow. if it's not a part of the film itself. It just presents itself to us. It's very strange. Wow. Yeah, that's great. I can't even count the amount of synchronistic experiences that have <laughs> happened on this film. It's yeah. weird, actually. It's creepy weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the weather. The weather is a perfect example. Last week on, at the, uh, on, on set, it was raining and the scene re required, required rain. rain. And huh. so 15 seconds before action, it starts it raining, starts, raining. starts wow. coming in, and then we do the scene and- Cut, cut stopped raining, and it got drone wow. shot. 
I mean, just like. Wow. We need drone shots. The universe shots. wants us out. That's, yeah. There's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or finding the Duran uh, headstone right where I imagined the scene taking place when I huh. wrote the script. There's a scene. There's yeah, we have. A we headstone have, right there. We have behind wow. the scene and it's not a footage name. that uh, where we were in the cemetery trying to find a location. We were in the spot where I was like, this is where I envisioned it by this tree. And, you know, and the huh. caretaker's like, oh, up here is where Rob Reiner filmed uh, uh, his film. And boom, there's the we headstone. We saw the headstone. Wow. And it was the character spelled the, the same. Oh, cool. And so we had, yeah, yeah, we were able to get the rights to use the name because, like A, there was nobody's name. It was just the marker stone. Yeah. And because like it was so old. From 1896 or something. Wow. <laughs> so, they cleaned it up for us to make it look yeah. like new. Wow. I mean, just stuff like that. It's That's crazy. fantastic. Yeah. I dropped to my knees. I don't drop to my knees. Yeah, that moment BTS right there. Of him. I'm up like just... this because I'm just like, what? And he drops to his knees. Well, I've never. Because he never was just like, that. Yeah. how did That's you do incredible. that, Alicia? I'm like. Uh, <laughs> In there I'm is. a witch. I don't know. <laughs> awesome. There you go. <laughs> okay. So the next one is to remain calm and confident. Yes. So even. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so does that mean, as as everything is going south, staying calm or just? Uh, yeah. I mean. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel even, like I feel like there was a specific example. That's why I ask. Well. <sighs> <laughs> um, there are so many, but things can always go awry, right? And it's just about, as a leader, you have to remain composed and keep your people, you know, yeah. feeling safe. They don't want to feel like there is something amiss. They don't want to yeah. feel anxious. Yeah. And it, so just mm -hmm. putting out fires and just making sure that the entire time you're transparent with your people, um, but also just remaining calm yeah. at the same time, even if it's not... So an example is when we had to part ways with Lucra in the beginning of oh, production. Yeah. And just, you know, no hard feelings from either side. We love. Oh, yeah. We absolutely. love Oscar and everything yeah, like that. They're, but, the, they're a fantastic um, team. We just had absolutely. to make sure that the the cast and crew knew that this is this is OK. This just means differences in vision. You know, mm. everything is going to be fine and yeah. moving along. But so. nothing against anybody from that from that company at yeah. all. They're a they're bunch fantastic. of fantastic. Yeah. We they're their screening. Still, and, yeah. still call them family. So. Yeah, difference in vision. Yep. No, and that's I mean that happens mm -hmm. <laughs> truly in this world a lot. So, um, and then next is to don't take it on alone. Oh, uh. what <laughs> what are ways that you can? Because <laughs> I I mean I think most directors have that tendency to just take as oh, much as they gosh. can. I How do you? That I am like... the biggest control freak, and I'm used to having my hands in every single part of production, and that's always the way it has been. But with a production this large, it's taken a lot for me to take a step back mm. and to give up control to my trusted family members and to mm. trust the chain of command. <laughs> and a couple of crowbars to pry your yeah, hands away from it things. It has not <laughs> been easy, trust me. I, It's been a struggle giving up control. It still is. I, I Nope, nope. <laughs> it's something I have to work on. <laughs> Do you have any examples of a time when you have given up control, hated it, but it's been for the best? This movie. This entire movie. Yeah, there's, yeah, I mean, in the very beginning, really prying the script from her hands to just let it go to the group and and have I'm not we exactly had, a micromanager have, but i am kind of a micromanager <laughs> we almost had to have an intervention with her with the board of members yeah. we all were sitting there like okay look he does this calm down she does this calm down <laughs> if there's an issue they'll take it Hand to him it to, you don't yes. need to you know get involved and once you, you started focus on seeing the, art, the, the chain of command working mm -hmm. on set then Things mm. Yeah, calm you down. focus on your creativity. Let us handle all of these other issues outside. And I'm just like, oh, that's kind of nice. Okay. Well. <laughs> but now it's it's a daily struggle. Make sure that we have director chairs. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Now keeping your paperwork in check. Mid production, mm -hmm. I would I would love advice for myself. What what do you find is the best way to keep the paperwork in check as 
it's a constantly evolving beast during production and yep. <laughs> does some meetings afterwards and yep. the weekly meetings the weekly meetings we, we have someone who our lovely contractor as we call her we have like <laughs> the contractor mafia names yeah. she's the contractor <laughs> she handles all the paperwork and the legal the, the legalities of you know media releases and mm -hmm. and different articles for the business and things like nice. that so yeah. have a person on that and have it uploaded and and backed up and Mm. various places and in, yeah. the, in the cloud even just to make sure that that it's going to be there she may not feel loved sometimes because we're like the artistic side of us is like no we got to do it now she's like no you have to look at the legal side of this we're like we don't want the legal we don't care about that <laughs> yeah, and she's she just like no no <laughs> you have to do this or else we'll be in trouble and like okay fine <laughs> so she keeps us in check yeah. awesome. so she's the contractor i'm the doctor i'm the cat he's the cat um we <laughs> have the spider the spider and, and then the also fixer. the fixer so we have like <laughs> like mafia names nice in zepstone the family <laughs> i love the it family. i love it awesome okay real quick it's time for some sponsor love so i want to say a quick thank you to uh suma business law they are excellent for contracts they have a mobile legal service that can come to you great prices for filmmakers so if you have contracts and other things you need to negotiate highly recommend them in addition creative stream studios for letting us film in their excellent space uh, if you're a filmmaker and you need a green screen psych wall or just a great a great set great place to film this is your place so let's take a quick look at some more info on them and then we'll be right back oh accursed one i shall have my revenge and cut Sometimes you need a place to get that perfect shot. Whether it's in a mystic land, a galaxy far, far away, or in an office, not so far away. But most people don't have the resources for a full studio or the money to rent one. Enter Creative Stream. Creative Stream was built from the ground up with creators and business needs in mind. It's the perfect space whether you're making a YouTube video, recording a corporate training, or just getting those final shots for your latest feature film. Creative Stream is pre-lit, and the state-of-the-art LED lighting setup allows for effortless lighting adjustments that will make your work stand out. The studio features a white psych wall, a green screen, and a beautiful talk show set. Creative Stream has fantastic prices for professionals, and even offers special pricing for student filmmakers. Whatever the size of your next production, Creative Stream can make you look your very best. To learn more or schedule your next production, visit www.creativestreamstudios.com. Running a successful business is hard work, and navigating the complexities of the law is time-consuming and even costly. There are so many legal considerations, business formations, entity selection, taxes, partnership agreements, licensing, hiring employees, business contracts, non-disclosure agreements, sale of a business, estate plans, and mergers, just to name a few. This is more work than most business owners can handle on their own. Let Summa Business Law guide you through each phase of your business and help your business achieve further growth. Summa Business Law offers a flexible subscription service that makes it possible for anyone to have access to the business counsel they need. A monthly subscription can give you access to document reviews, protecting you from potential legal threats, one-on-one -on -one meetings, as well as business and legal advice. We offer mobile services that come to you to save you time and money, and calls and emails are available at any time at no additional cost. Contact Summa Business Law today to schedule your free consultation and help your business reach its potential. We're back to talk about a few more of these awesome production tips. The next one is social media. We talked about this a little bit before in pre-production, mm -hmm. and it's great because I, I like how you guys got word out way before production started. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing during production? I've seen updates posted. Mm -hmm. um, what what else? Um, how we're, much do you want to give away on that? I know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously. Um, We've got some things cooking with with comma or not comic con it's what fan, fan X. X. yeah we've got some, oh great we've got a lot of things cooking right now we just can't reveal them hey no that's <laughs> yeah, totally fine um but social media is a good platform just to like i said reach all those different groups and then we are starting various campaigns and you know, like legitimate campaigns on certain things coming yeah up, so yeah is there one social service that you found to be superior to the others for this project, or is there... For film, it's been Facebook all the way. I mean, 
I know that some of the younger kids are like, Facebook is for the older people now, and you know, but honestly, it's it's for fi- it's film friendly, big time. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Yeah, yeah, cool. It's just, uh, yeah, as as it goes for advertising, always the way that we're one thing that I know we can talk about is the way we're structuring this is that we're allowing the um, we're allowing the uh, the film to to once once we get the finished cut the mm-hmm. last that's when we're gonna imp- yeah the picture lock that's when we're implementing like everything to start going out there yeah. because cool. then that that still garners interest it's not beating a dead horse all the way up till it finally comes out, but little snippets that we're going to start yeah. bringing and out And just there. as a clue, we're not going full on Blair Witch with this, but there are going to be some things oh. going on. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's intriguing. Okay. Um, <laughs> number seven, respect everyone. And I, I think uh, specifically on set, you're just talking about having treating everybody equally in terms mm-hmm. of yeah respect the talent to a certain extent respect the well, talent when you as know far as if, chain is, chain for, of for us right. you know we we always like having fun on set we're always joking um certain unless there's a method yeah, actor and, and, like, and, oh, yeah unless you, you know you like i said it, go, it goes back it goes actor. back to <laughs> respecting the talent and if they request something respect them for that because that's the way that they that they work so that they're like you know could you keep the joking down or you know certain things you just say oh yeah okay and then everybody reels it back yeah. for them so that they can stay in character better right and, and i them. i have found that i am kind of a combination between a transformational leader and a transactional leader and so i really want to make sure that i know like all the different personality types that are on my set Mm. and what they require and what makes them tick and you know what's the best way to communicate with them and that really just makes production smooth and Mm. i'm all about time management so yeah and it's just everyone feeling validated as well good good okay um and now i mean you talked about this already having fun (laughs) yeah um i'm i I wouldn't do film myself if I wasn't fun. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's take the fun it's out of film and it's yeah, yeah, just another job. So, but okay. So what are some of the ways that you encourage fun on the set? Things that you Ooh, do. I got, I got this one. It's when it's the last, last week when you had to wear my boots, you had a blanket yes. on and you had the umbrella hat yes. on. Okay. And so it's like this real <laughs> serious scene but she's wearing size 13 boots because her her boots were my soaked. My boots were soaked. From and the rain. she's freezing cold, and she's wearing a, a rainbow umbrella hat. So An it's just on hat her head and a blanket. And so I'm like <laughs> stomping around with these boots and my blanket and my umbrella hat, and it was just funny. And and so we we had some pretty decent yeah, BTS it was of that great. too. More documentation that it actually happened. There's a lot of joking around. <laughs> Especially with the content of this film being yeah. so mm. dramatic and emotional, it's really fun to break it up and you have and to. fix that monotony. You have to, especially, yeah. I mean, you know, on, on the, the scene that we showed in the last episode, you know, when you watched uh, Jake. The first scene, yeah. yeah. And he's and he loses it. You have to have a sense of humor after that. You have to give him a minute to catch his breath, but while that... Just everybody has to decompress because if not, everybody would go mental. And then there are the method actors on our set who c- we can't joke around during mm-hmm. those kinds yeah, of scenes because to. it will take them out of that moment. And yeah. so, again, it's just knowing when to have fun. and Like wearing an umbrella hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Why and, not? <laughs> yep. uh, and I kind of feel like we covered already validating your people. Um, I feel like we covered that under the respect. So let's go on to the, to number 10, which is be flexible and solutions based. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what exactly that means to you. Well, there are always going to be conflicts and problems that arise, especially in any work environment and family challenges, Challenges. not problems, (laughs) but it really comes down to being solutions based and knowing that anything really can be fixed. It's just a matter of getting some really brilliant minds together and, Um, finding a solution and planning for the unexpected too because with film 
you just <laughs> come on. You could drop you a ten can plan terabyte all hard day drive. long <gasps> and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> And there's still going to be something that happens, but it's just, it kind of goes back to being calm and just looking for a solution as opposed mm -hmm. to just kind of quitting and throwing your hands up. Um, yeah. Along those same lines, what was the latter part of that? Solutions-based. Be oh, flexible yeah, solutions-based. Solutions -based. Yes. And when you do have a potential, you know, failure or mistake, you know, learn from it. Mm. Don't let it weigh you down. Yeah, that's, again, that goes back to our production meetings afterwards. So if anybody on the crew had seen something or was dealing with something, they bring it out. They bring it out. They're mm. transparent right then. Yep. Nice. We and improve communications, it. yeah. So then we write that down. Then we have our board meeting. And then the following week, we make sure that it's addressed and that we don't run into that problem again. So even Good. if it means continually making these tweaks to refine you know the production then by the end of all this will be perfect and then it will be over and then it's over <laughs> we nailed it Every it's time. over then we'll know for the next time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> absolutely oh. awesome okay well this is great this is a great chat and I'm, I'm look forward to seeing the the evolution of this project so um make sure to check it out city of salt movie uh, the, on the Facebook page mm -hmm. and website forthcoming. And, and stay tuned. There's some fun things coming. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to, look forward to seeing this in Thank the future. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.